This is Archie number 238 in the Archie series, sold for 25 cents. And it's this faucet there, approved by the Comics Code Authority. And Archie says, er, do you girls need a lifeguard? And they're an inflatable <laughs> wading pool, so I assume they do not. Um, Jacket says, ha, beautiful, you stood up to the great Veronica. And there's some kind of mark here. And this is from September 1974. The Archie title at this time was published nine times a year by Archie Comic Publications, Inc. On the inside cover, there is an advertisement for the Olympic Sales Club, Inc. And the first story is Archie and Robinson Gruesome. And here's Archie, splish splash, praise be, gas, glub, snort, land, beautiful land. I, Robinson Gruesome, must be the sole survivor of this tragic shipwreck. Just me, alone, nobody else on this uncharted, deserted isle. But I shall be undaunted. With fierce determination and determined fierceness, I shall make a life for myself in this lonely spot. Who knows, I may spend the rest of my life in solitude, without anybody, alone. But gasp and hark, what is that in the sand? A footprint, that is a footprint. If I ever saw a footprint, that is a footprint. The print of someone's foot. Oh, welcome. Welcome, companion of the rest of my life. Come let these lonely eyes gaze upon your beauty. And then he's thinking, get Zooks, I hope she's a good cook. And then there's Jughead. If you're looking for female companionship, you sure came to the wrong deserted island, Ulp. I thought you'd be a girl. I don't like that kind of talk of my island, man. Well, no matter. You shall be my servant and call me master. You can call me in the year 2001, Buster. I'll call you uh, Wednesday. Better yet, don't call me, I'll call you. Now, the first thing we need is a shelter. You gather palms while I select the spot for our house. Well, come, come, Wednesday, you've got to learn to take orders. You've got to be out of your tree, Clyde. Look you, this is the way the story goes. I'm Robinson Gruesome. Don't worry, Bubby. Maybe the salt air will cure it. Don't take any sand dollars, Robbie. Ingrate, you'll come crawling to me. First the house, shelter from the elements. When he sees how cozy and comfortable I am, he'll beg to share my abode. <laughs> Doesn't look very comfortable to me, he's getting flooded. Bah, bah, bah yourself, a fuck. Pox on the lot of you. I'm a vegetarian at heart anyway. Croak, I'm going to expire on this miserable island. I'm starved, dying of thirst. Irk, you, how can you look so, so healthy? How can you look so seedy? You really should let yourself go like that. Food, water, do you have any? Gulp, you live here? It's not much, but I call it home. Hey, you were hungry, Waldo, like another goat steak? Maybe another chicken. Help yourself to the fruit. Slurp, chomp, gulp. And he has signs in the house. One says home sweet home. The other one says bless this house. Burp, look, isn't that a sale? Tisk, what a bore. Now I suppose I'll have to give up the good life and be rescued. I'd better get dressed. It's an honor to serve you, your lordship. What about the scruffy looking person? Thursday, good chap, a bit uncivilized though. Found him here, so I presume he's a native. And then the ship sails off and leaves Archie. I like the book better. Here's an advertisement for some gags at Honor House Production Corp. Here's Little Jinx and Think or Swim. Where are you going, Charlie Haas? I'm going out on the pond to fish. Maybe they're biting better. You mean you're going out in this boat? Yes, Little Jinx. Or do boats like this sink very often? No, little jinx, not more than once. Here's Archie Club News. Membership is 50 cents. There's a first prize for $6, a second prize for $4. Oh, and the second prize one, they, uh, someone wrote a poem. Gail Lucas wrote a poem. Archie, Archie, not so bright, but he thinks Veronica is just right. Betty, Betty, cute and blonde. Only on Archie, she is fond. Reggie, Reggie, up to old tricks, but it turns out he just... He gets the licks. 
Jughead Jughead eats all day. When it comes to food, get out of his way. Moose, moose, big and strong. If you mess with Midge, you'll find you were wrong. <laughs> That's cute. Um, and then here's an Archie Club member order form. Here's an advertisement for the Master's Complete Course of Kung Fu. And an order form for Super Muscle System from Universal Bodybuilding. If you're in the area, stop at the new Archie's Restaurant on West Jefferson in Hames, or Hams, Joliet, Illinois. Archie and Memories. Good show. Glad we decided on a movie. Yeah, it's always hard to figure out what to do on a Thursday. Thursday is about the dullest night in the week. Got any snacks in your room? Let's see. How about a candy bar? Fine, thanks. Hey, your calendar is four days behind the times. There, now it's up to date. Thursday, what's concert mean? Concert? Concert Thursday tonight, three hours ago. Arg! Plop, and he falls over. Ha! Beautiful, you stood up the great Veronica. Veronica? Veronica who? Huh? Just fell, hit my head. Amnesia, no memory of Ron or the concert date. I'm blameless. Come now, you aren't pulling that corny routine. I'm grasping at straws, buddy. I can't tell her, pal. I don't remember her. It'll be my pleasure. Amnesia, what sort of an idiot do you think I am? Got an hour or two? Where is that freckled skunk? Follow me. Who am I? Duh. Who are you? Duh. Who's he? Duh. What day is this? What's day? Count to ten. What's count? Tis, poor guy. Are you convinced? What can I do? I can't prove anything, but he's taking me to the dance tomorrow. See that he finds my house. There's a dinner in it for you. You just said the magic words. I've got it made, Jug. I'll begin to improve during the evening. By the time I take her home, I'll be normal. Wow, for the first time. You know, strange person, you begin to look familiar to me. Could it be... Yes, yes, by gosh, pieces are beginning to fit together. It's gradually coming back. I see, I see. And then this guy is winking at Veronica. I remember, Veronica, I remember, I'm cured. It's a miracle. Eep, whack. Veronica runs into the pillar wall. Veronica, baby, are you all right? Veronica, who's Veronica? Where am I? Who am I, doctor? I need you. Tis that bunk scrambled her head. She thinks I'm her doctor. Archie, how can you be so sure Veronica is a faker? It takes one to know one, doggone it. And here is advertisement, a free album of fast-selling personalized Christmas cards to show how easy it is to make money and earn prizes. This is for Youth Opportunity Sales Club. A new Archie's restaurant is now open. Visit us at 2790 Broadway, Merrillville, Indiana. Casual dining and fun for the entire family. Archie and growing pains. Archie, did you brush your teeth? Are your fingernails clean? No holes in your socks? What time is your date? You won't be late, will you? Please, Mom, I'm not a child. I was only trying to help. Mom, let go of me for Pete's sake. A guy has to learn to be self-sufficient. The boy's right, Mary. Back off. Why can't you women ever let your kids grow up? Loosen those apron strings. Let the boy go. Thanks, Pop. I didn't know how to say it without sounding fresh. It's something that happens to all mothers, Archie. All right, I got the message. No more, I promise. Okay, I'm on my way. Do you have your wallet, dear? Mom, Mary. Sheesh. Mary, will you leave the boy alone? He doesn't need your help to go on a date. Gleet, my wallet. I did forget it. Oh boy, I can't let mom know. Not after the way Pop and I read her out. So... He's grabbing a ladder and um, Mrs. Andrews sees the wallet on his dresser. Hmm. Whack. There's a ladder coming up to the window. Hmm. Or Fred, I heard a noise outside the house. Would you see what it is? Sure, Mary. What's the ladder doing out here? And why is the light on in Archie's room? Pop, is that you? Don't take the ladder away. Archie, what are you doing up there? I had to get my wallet. I couldn't let mom know I did forget it. Egad, no, not after the way we went after her. Come down quickly. Fred, you left the ladder out? That's an open invitation to burglars. Put it away immediately. Eep. Er, you go back in the house, Mary. I'll put it away. Nonsense, dear. I'll walk with you to the garage. I enjoy being with you. Ulp. Uh, 
Sure you're not tired, dear? Why don't you pop into bed? I'm not a bit sleepy, dear. I think I'll wait up for our self-sufficient boy to come home. And now Archie's stuck in his room. Upstairs. And let's see. Here's an ad. Longer nails and minutes now. Only $1.98. And then um, an Archie fable. This is the story of Orange Locks and the Three Birds. That one down there, that's Orange Locks. We'll get to the birds later. Orange Locks is called Orange Locks because that's the color of his locks. Sometimes he is called Freckle Snoot. Not because of the color of his hair, but for another reason. Figure it out yourself. Anyway, study him well because we're going to run into him on page two. Pay attention now. We might ask questions later. Oh, oh, here they come now. These are the birds we told you about. Betty Bird, Ronnie Bird, and Midge Bird. Look, let's take them one at a time. This is Betty Bird. He loves me, he loves me not. She chirps cheerily, which is easier to do than to say three times fast. Archie! She has a powerful nesting instinct. My Uncle Cyrus is a justice of the peace, darling. Bully for him. Special rates to the family. Marry a relative, you'll save a bundle. Betty Bird is niceness itself. She spreads more cheer around than anybody needs or wants. Isn't everything just glorious? Every cloud is a silver lining. Smile and the world smiles with you. That much sweetness I can't stand. Flat, she's going to nice us to death. And here's an advertisement for sea monkeys and for 100 little dolls. The Ronnie Bird is a far cry from Betty Bird. Hark! I hear a far cry. It must be Ronnie Bird. Ronnie Bird attracts males. She is noted for her elegant plumage. Her call is strong and decisive. Archie! Snap. Yes, dear. Mitch Bird, however, is a horse of a different color. And that's no easy trick for a bird. Mother Nature provided a most unusual defensive arrangement for Midge Bird. Give me a kiss, baby. Instead of drab brown or gray, her protective coloring is purple. What's that purple glow? The coloring is not on the bird, but on a rather large, uncommonly strong animal called moose. Grouf, smooch. To touch this bird is suicide. Zoom. Even bird watchers don't. Duh, did you look at my girl? Girl, what's a girl? So anyway, old orange locks dates Betty Bird one day. Ooh, Archie, thank you for asking me for a date. And he says like this, too soft, too mushy, sloppy, syrupy, bletch. So he splits and runs into gasp. Right, it's Ronnie Bird. Now there's a big contrast. Who, Archie? Oh yes, I seem to remember. Because whatever he says, however nice he is, he gets cold shouldered and deserted. Your heart is a rock, Ronnie Bird. No heart, no feelings, no compassion. No kidding, you, you're really in the Marines? So she's walking off with another guy. Finally, Orange Locks finds Midge Bird. And of course, Midge Bird, you're just right. You know this ain't going to be no happy ending. You're no fool. What's that purple glow? Right, it's Midge Bird's protective coloring. Grrr. So Orange Locks flies home, gives up bird watching or even bird bothering with. Zoom. He drops his membership in BW, Bird Watchers, and becomes a BI, Bird Ignorer, because he has a friend in the business. <laughs> and there he is fishing with Jughead. That's obviously the friend. And here's an order form. Archie 9 for $2. You're a winner when you subscribe to the Archie series comics listed below. Send $2 for each title you check, and you will receive... Nine consecutive issues, a two twenty-five value for $2. Each issue will be mailed right to your home as soon as it comes off the presses. Just think about no worries about missing an issue. And here's an order form for Johnson Smith Company. Free 1974 catalog for 1,600 novelties. And here's an ad for Sales Leadership Club. And an ad for Cheerful House. Thanks for watching.